So, uh, if you only need to access the back side of your circuit card, there you go. You can stop. But if you need to get to the other side <clears throat> of the circuit card, then <clears throat> you need a little more advanced skill because the SMA connector is soldered to the circuit card. And it's right here <clears throat> underneath this copper shielding. So you'll need a soldering iron uh, with a real fine tip to get in here and a solder wick to, uh, to remove this solder. And you know, like I said, you need a little bit more advanced skill. So we're going to try it and see how that works out. Okay, let's see. I missed the screw here in the middle. And there are two other. There's uh, some flathead Phillips right on the circuit board. I'll need to take those out as well. And one up here at the top. See if we have any more. Got a small one here on the side. Don't know that I need to take that off, but I will. Right, let's see. Where are we? Like I am going to have to take those two screws off of the SMA jack. Uh, also, nope, there's uh, some little rubber grommets around the SMA connector and the two shafts. And those need to come out. Okay, so let's take this off. These two screws that hold the SMA jack on top of the radio. Take that off. And the, most of these screws are different sizes. So I noticed that these two on top are sl slightly larger than the round head Phillips that go on the circuit card. So let's see where we are with this here. So the trick here is to, what I found to be the easiest way is obviously it was successful. I did remove some of the solder with the solder wick and after a while I thought that well maybe I can just heat up the, uh, the solder pad and then apply a little pressure and then just pull the board out which is what I did. So uh, I just put a little a screwdriver in here to leverage and then heated up the solder pad and then it pulled through. You just have to make sure not to apply too much pressure because it will pull the via through which is the the copper runway through the circuit card. You don't want to pull that out so just be careful and also note all those coils on the other side so when you put your screwdriver through here don't go too far just a little way just for enough pressure to uh, remove the circuit card and the SMA connector as you can see is at a, a 90 so putting that back in uh, this will be probably the best thing would be to resecure the SMA jack and then position the circuit card over top of the uh, via and they heat it up push it through that may be how they assembled it I don't know but uh, anyway we've got the uh, circuit card free and uh, there are a couple of uh, rests as I guess you would call them little rubber 
areas here on the, the metallic chassis to keep the circuit card from uh, touching that and there's a rubber grom rubber grommet uh, this is where the uh, connectors for the battery go through so to try to keep it uh, watertight well, somewhat uh, just pay attention to your grommet here around the chassis uh, don't let it get away from you and there are little tabs on the side to help uh, key it in so we'll just set that off to the side so now we have the complete circuit card this is the heart of the radio right here uh, with the, the brains basically and the various other circuitry I <laughs> need a magnifying glass to uh, really see what's on here but uh, let's take a moment to point out a few things on the circuit card uh, there's a small battery here and I can't tell you what that is I can't read it uh, but also this I'm not sure what this is it looks like it could be a uh, like a socket for maybe a daughter card or uh, another device a chip of some sort that might uh, give this additional features I'm thinking maybe Bluetooth I don't know uh, there's a few solder pads uh, here for a chip that might help uh, identify them a little bit better uh, the I don't know if you want to call this the back or the front side of the circuit card, but uh, it is labeled. Several several areas are labeled. Uh, Vox, 5 TV, not sure what that is. USB, DP, mic, USB, DM. And, uh, you know, that's the only thing that jumps out at me. 